So what is going on everybody, my name is Mehul and welcome to your 7th WebSocket tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to create that simple application like that of websockets.org which we took a look in I guess 2nd or 3rd tutorial maybe somewhere and uh, yeah let's just do that but before that what I want to do is do an npm install of uh, nodemon so that we can just monitor our node.js changes and we don't have to just kill the server and uh, restart it again and again whenever there's a change right so it just it should just take a couple of seconds or more maybe so this by the way this g flag just installs it globally if you were wondering so that you just don't need to install it if you are working on some other project some other time and uh, okay so it's done and what I'm going to do now is say nodemon and next .js and we are on right so okay now let's just implement that so what I'm gonna do is say right here <clears throat> inside my index.html let's just create a send button and a simple input type text placeholder your message here right and uh, I can just give it an ID of text and right here I can just get rid of this I can say what text is document dot get element by ID text dot value and then what I can say is uh, sock dot send what I want to send is text right and uh, as an on message we are console logging the event so let's just leave that to that only for now and inside index.js what I want to do is say send message right and just reload this make sure your nodemon is working perfectly write something go to network or maybe console hit send get element I guess we have a bit of problem there reload send Oh, okay so that is get element by ID right there reload send okay you can see that we got a message from the server and uh, it says data as AAA not a problem so what I want to do is uh, create a div here of log and uh, say document dot get element by ID log right and I want to say log dot inner HTML event dot data right so what we are essentially doing here is that if I write one two three hit send you see we get one two three then if I write four five six and it's send we get one two three four five six and what we can do even more is do something like that hit reload one two three four five six seven eight nine so what is essentially happening here is that when I write something here and click on this button we get to this function right here it gets the text which I have written it sends the text to the server 
on server node.js is receiving the message it consoles the message here for me and it sends me the message back to the client now the client we have implemented the sock.on message and uh, we are consoling log that event and then we are just changing the HTML of this log div to show what we have got from the server so you can even do something like uh, from server and there you go now if you do something like send you can see we are good to go right so that is how you pretty much reflect from the server what you are doing so yeah that's all for this one and uh, in the next tutorials what we are gonna do is maybe create a simple chat application for two users and probably then we can extend it to a group or something so that is all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one